Hello guys, so today I'm rocking the Swedish colors, the yellow and blue, because that's really important to do today, no, not some days, because I'm Swedish and my name is not Adidas, that's a guy from uh, Germany actually, and you know the story about Adidas, I shouldn't do this in my video, but this is really fun, it's not that fun, is um, Adidas, Adi Dassler and his brother had a company that made shoes, Adidas. And um, one day the brother found out that Adi Dassler was cheating with the brother's wife. They became um, lifelong enemies and the brother started another company down the street. So it was not even another block. It was just down the street. And that company is Puma. So now you know the story. Today we're going to talk about something that is much more important than not my million messages that's going up on there. Uh, going on up there. Up, up. Yeah, I don't know. English is not my first language. So we're going to talk fuel and pump elements. Because this is fun. The small, the, we're talking Mercedes diesel. If you want to look at something else, you switch now because this is Mercedes and uh, M pumps. Mechanical or EDC, it doesn't really matter. M pumps. Inline pumps that are four, five, or six cylinders long. And we have uh, a few original elements to choose from. We have two types of five and a half millimeter elements. We have those from the mechanical pumps and we have those from the EDC pumps. The EDC pump elements are better, it's a newer development and they are they flow more fuel. The six millimeter elements, we also have two versions. We have from mechanical pumps and from EDC pumps. The normal ones are from EDC pumps, but there are a few from mechanical pumps as well. The mechanical 6mm element is useless. Can't do shit with that. Uh, so it's like the 5.5mm EDC element is better than the 6mm mechanical element. The 6mm EDC element, you can put out 120cc of fuel if you're a good pump builder. Uh, it's a good element, it's made for uh, boosting, so it works good. Uh, then we have 7mm elements, they are one ver version of these, 7. So that makes it in total 5 version of stock and pump elements. That is really fun, the 7mm is useless. Yeah, the 6mm EDC element is equal in fuel output or maybe even a tad better but i would say equal in fuel output and uh, because the seven millimeter don't have a retard notch uh, they knock horribly so it's uh, not good at all for turbo applications this is the element that started it all uh, some guy found out that there were seven millimeter original elements and swap them over to a Mercedes mechanical pump and the whole super turbo era started and this is 20 fucking years ago yeah so that's short about elements today we have elements that are bigger and better on the aftermarket scene we have we have a few different but we we are gonna take the general you know we have seven millimeter, really good elements. We have seven and a half millimeter, really good elements. If I'm gonna say this to all the elements, I'm just gonna look biased, which I am, because I don't like shit, I like good things. So we're just gonna rabble the numbers. We have seven millimeters, seven and a half millimeter, 7.7 .7 millimeter, eight millimeter, and 8.5 millimeter. We have one seven millimeter, 
we have a couple of versions of the seven and a half millimeter but it's what i know of only one for sale because the other ones have expired uh, we have seven uh, seven point seven millimeter is one version we have eight millimeter that is many 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 versions there are four four from uh, one vendor uh, they only sell one because three has expired uh, we have two we have more uh, i don't really know how many from the other vendor i'm really sorry about this but uh, it is like four probably but we have two that like has been successful in the development and you can buy both but it's harder to buy one of them and one is like the go-to element uh, eight and a half millimeter is one so uh, that's the aftermarket elements that we have on the market right now that makes it seven and a half uh, seven seven and a half seven point seven eight 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 point five seven so seven different elements that we can buy over the counter today and that is very good right so how does it work why do people choose to buy some type of element and not the other First of all, it's knowledge. And second of all is uh, perception, conception. Uh, I don't know, something that when people think something. Um, and um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of that, the salesman that sells them and whatnot. But I will not uh, do the pros and cons. I will just tell you the pure facts this is how it works if you have this is so fucking stupid so if you don't get it yourself you shouldn't watch but I'm here to teach you so I need to have some patience and that's my fourth day as they say Mercedes Bosch made a pump element that is six millimeter that is making in a six cylinder pump 177 horsepower and that is what they did that is what they thought was good there are people that claims that you can make 300 horsepower with these elements we will get back to that but all right you can do 300 horsepower so you almost doubling the amount of power out of this element so why didn't mercedes just go with a four millimeter element or five millimeter element right I mean, the five and a half millimeter EDC element can do 177 horsepower easy. Yeah, because it's more to it than that. I have said in my videos before, and no one gets it. So today, I will try to do, I will do my best to make you understand this. We have an injection angle. That's the time it takes to inject the fuel. All right. So if we start at top dead center and we turn the engine, how many degrees on the engine will it take before the fuel is injected? And this is the most important number of all. You can talk about your fucking back pressure bullshit or your egt bullshit or your what the fuck other bullshit you're talking about all fucking days on your fucking facebook but you should talk about 
the numbers that matters. If you have short injection angle, you have no fucking back pressure. You have no fucking EDT. Right? And you don't have no other bullshit. But if you're running 300 horsepower from a 6 millimeter element, then you need to go to the fucking psychiatrist. Because there's something wrong with you. Can it be done? Yeah, of course it can. But it's going to take you three months to get that fucking fuel injected. And a high injection angle equals heat and smoke. Hmm. I thought heat and smoke was good. No, it's not. It's you wanker wastegate guys that think that. So, what makes the element different? Yeah, they are different size. They are different design. They perform in different ways. But, if you're going to choose something for your engine, you have to choose what is the most efficient. So there's nothing that will beat a 300 horsepower diesel make an 8 millimeter or mini 8 millimeter. Oh, I'm only aiming for 450 horsepower, so I run a 7.5 millimeter. Yeah, you can do that. I mean, these claims are just lunatics. Oh, it's fuel for 700 horsepower. Is it? Is it really fuel for 700 horsepower? First of all, you have full load, 5,400 RPM. So you're going to make 700 horsepower at 5,400 RPM? I mean, that's the first one. I have fuel, you don't have fuel for fucking shit. Yeah, I'm not a patient guy. Because I want my short fucking injection angle. So, we have tested. And we have tested and we have tested all fucking elements. And the injection angle. There are two elements that are good. And when I say good, they have an injection angle that is good for 140 to 160 cc of fuel. Oh, my pump does 220 cc. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But if you push your fucking throttle today, it takes an hour to inject that fuel. So you will have nothing. So this is what it's good for. So you can buy your bullshit uh, pump elements and do what the fuck you want. But what matters is the injection angle. And that you only get from a large, well-developed element. You can rule out the 8.5 millimeter directly. Because that's a fucking 10, 12 year old bullshit design. I'm sorry, Tomnik. I'm sorry, but you know this as well. It's like, it's only a number. So, that's gone. Then we have two. Dieselmaken and Minne. And the shortest injection angle on the dieselmaken elements is the ATLF. And that's my favorite. The normal go-to element is ATLF4. I don't say that that is a bad element at all. It's is much better than the ATLF in many ways. But if you are a stupid motherfucker like me, then you go for the ATLF. That's just how it is. So you have two or three, depending on how you look at it. Uh, so we say two because uh, both diesel mechanisms 8 uh, LF or 8 LF4 is 8 millimeter. So 8 8 millimeter diesel mechanism and 8 millimeter minute. 
Those are the two championes. Third on the list of injection angle is the diesel mechan uh, 75L3, right? I don't even know my elements. It's a 7.5mm uh, diesel mechan element that is available for customers. I'm pretty sure it's uh, 75L3. I, I'm sorry, Eric and Joran, but it's uh, I actually forgot the number right now. So uh, these are the top three in uh, of injection angle, even though 7.5mm can't compete with 8mm. So if you're running 250 horsepower in your 606, you want a really sweet daily driver with your HE250, 7.5mm pump will do you well. If you're aiming for more, you go up a notch. Because this is the thing, people think it's more hard to drive, it takes more fuel and whatever. It doesn't, because a diesel engine works on fuel, it doesn't work on air. So that means if you have a little bit of throttle and you're cruising at 2000 RPM, you are injecting the exact amount of fuel as you would do on a six millimeter element or five and a half or seven or whatever, because this is what it takes to propel your car uh, at 2000 RPM. So the only thing you get is benefits, a crisper throttle response, right? Not this sluggish fucking six millimeter bullshit. So crisp, nice, throttle response you get faster spool on your turbo lower egt less smoke have i missed anything let me go with the bad things now nah there's no bad things you know so bigger is better yes like the women say that's why i'm single no i'm just kidding i'm not single but uh, yeah it is what it is, 8mm for the win, and you can choose 8mm from Finland and Minne, or you can choose 8mm two versions from Sweden and Eric, the diesel making guy. That's what you can do if you want to have a crisp throttle feel, fast boost response, and an engine that doesn't overheat all the fucking time. So, it's 18 minutes of uh, trash talk. And now you know everything there is to know about pump elements. So, I mean, am I biased? No, not really, because I've been doing business with everybody. And if I like something, it's because it works. Easy as that. Ciao!